in 2020, I built this strawberry palette planter and I built it for my book. There are instructions on how to make this exact palette planter in my book. Over the years, I've also shared how to make it on my website. One of my very first YouTube videos from 10 years ago is how to make a strawberry palette planter. These are brilliant planters for growing all sorts of things, not just strawberries. And today I'm gonna to show you how to plant one up. I get questions about it all the time, so I'd like to share with you how you can not only build one of these, but also plant it up so that you have lots and lots of gorgeous berries and other edible crops growing in a homemade planter. A strawberry palette planter is a DIY wooden planter that you can make using just one wooden palette. Start off with one heat treated palette and you can create a planter that has enough volume that doesn't need watering all the time and you can grow everything in it from raspberries and tomatoes to strawberries and the strawberries are perfect because they fit right through the slats in the front. Let's just have a quick look to see what it is that we're actually going to be planting up today. This is the completed pallet planter, strawberry pallet planter. It's four years old, so you can see it has pretty good longevity. And there are 12 strawberry plants in this planter and it is deep and wide enough so that there's some really good volume. It won't lose water as quickly as other types of containers. And it's situated right here against the polycrub, perfect place for it. It's protected from some of the wind, if not all of it. It's been quite windy these past couple of days. And before long, all of these plants will fill out, cover part of the planter and produce continuous berries right through summer. When you build a strawberry planter, you have the option of creating wooden feet using the spacers on the pallet. It's optional though, and in this particular planter, you can see that I have it set up on bricks, and this is to allow any moisture to drain away from the planter. Next, it's important to line the inside of the planter to keep the potting mix and the compost from eroding out through the bottom and the sides. You can use all different types of materials for this. I've used straw in the past, I've used typical landscaping fabric, and this stuff is just cornstarch landscaping fabric. It's a biodegradable version. You've seen me use it when we planted up the hedgerow and also in my recent compost video. When you're lining the inside of the planter, just make sure that you cover every single crack, crevice, slat through the wood, just to make sure that you can catch any areas where there might be potting mix that erodes out. I've also left the landscaping fabric just hanging over the edge a bit. This can be trimmed back later, but as we start filling this, it may actually settle that fabric and we don't want it pulled in too much beyond our control. To get started planting, I've got 12 strawberry plants and all of these will fit in this planter. I also have a pair of scissors on the go and the fill is going to be half potting mix, so commercial compost in the UK, potting mix in the United States, and half of it's going to be true compost. And this is stuff that's made out of manure and that I've purchased rather than make. It's a really nutrient dense compost and I love using composted horse manure in containers that are gonna be growing edibles. The mix that I'm using is 50% potting mix and 50% manure-based compost. And I'm just adding a bit at a time and mixing it together inside the container. I've only filled this container up to this first slot and that's because it is far easier planting these strawberry plants from the inside rather than trying to cram them through the slots here in the front and if you're planting other types of plants it's the same thing. So I'm going to take this strawberry plant and I'm going to put it in here on the inside and then I'm going to make a little incision here with some scissors and feed the strawberry plant through. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side 
and then fill the compost up to the next level and then put the rest of the strawberry plants in through these slots. After planting this top row of strawberry plants, I finished off the top of this container with that purchased potting mix. It's just a nicer material to use as the surface mulch and it's also very moisture retentive. It has lots of wood fiber in it. Other types of potting mixes will have cocoa core and other types of materials in it that will add in drainage and help the mix stay more moisture retentive. Now, the reason I use both the compost and the potting mix is because they add different qualities and different nutrients to this mix. So the purchase potting mix is light and fluffy, adds aeration, drainage, whereas that manure-based compost is super high in nutrients and together they work really well. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off the top with six more plants. So this container can grow 12 strawberry plants, which is phenomenal and really useful for if you have a smaller growing space. And I'm just going to space them all out here on the top. And then when I'm happy with where they're, they're all situated, I'll just dig them into the top. The last two things that I've done here is I've trimmed the liner and it's flush here with the top of the planter. You can tuck yours in if you would prefer. And I've given a really good watering in. And these plants are gonna establish really quickly. And I'll even be able to expect berries from them this summer. This is an ever-bearing variety, which means that it will produce berries all summer long in flushes as long as conditions are optimal. And I think that's a better type of strawberry to grow in a container like this. I go through a lot more detail on choosing strawberry varieties and spacing and all of that over on my website. I'll leave a link down in the video description and up on the screen if you wanna go over and get a lot more detail on planting up a strawberry planter. Now, if you do have container grown strawberries already or other plants, flowers, other vegetables, I have some top tips for taking care of them and making sure that you're getting the most out of your plants. And if you want to watch that video next, it's up here on the screen. I'm going to be revisiting this planter over the coming year and so you'll be able to expect seeing it in my monthly garden videos and it will make an appearance in the next one which will be in about a month's time. I will see you though before that in the next video here on Lovely Greens. Bye for now.